So this is what your piece will look like so far. For round 21, we will begin with a two double crochet cluster in the chain two space that we just made. Followed by chain three, one, two, three, and then we will do a single crochet in the chain three space. Followed by chain one. Now we are at the our four chain one spaces, and here we will do a two double crochet cluster chain one. We would do it a total of three times in our three chain one spaces. Chain one. Now we will do a single crochet in the next chain three space, followed by chain three. One, two, three. Now we have our three chain two spaces. In the first one, we will do two double crochet cluster, chain two two double crochet cluster. Followed by chain three. Then we will do a single crochet in the next chain two space here. Followed by chain three. And then we are at our next uh, chain two space in this final chain two space we will do a two double crochet cluster chain two two double crochet cluster followed by chain three and the next chain three space we will do a single crochet followed by chain one and then we are at our three chain one spaces. So this is what we created here. So the pattern for this round is that after we do our single crochet chain one in our chain three space, we are at our three chain one spaces. In each of the chain one spaces, we'll do a two double crochet cluster chain one. Once we're finished that, we will do a single crochet in the next chain three space, then we'll chain three. Following that, we have our three two double crochet clusters at the top here. In the first one, we will do two double crochet cluster, chain two, two double crochet cluster. Following that, we will chain three and do a single crochet in the next chain two space. Following that, we will chain three and do a two double crochet cluster, chain two, two double crochet cluster in the final chain two space. And then we will chain three and do a single crochet in the next chain three space. Then we will chain one and we are back at our chain one spaces. So that's the pattern all the way around. I will meet you at the end of this round. So here we are at the end of round 21 to finish it off. I have my final two double crochet cluster in the beginning chain space as our beginning two double crochet cluster. To finish it off, I will chain one and single crochet into the beginning two double crochet cluster. To begin round 22, we will start with a two double crochet cluster into the beginning chain space that we just created. Following that, we will chain three, one, two, three, and we will single crochet in the next chain three space. Then we will chain one, and we are at our two chain one spaces. In each of the chain one spaces, we will do a two double crochet cluster chain one. Now we will single crochet in the next chain three space. Then we will chain three. And now we are at the top here. In the beginning top chain two space, we will do a two double crochet cluster, chain two, two double crochet cluster.
Now we will chain three. And in the first chain three space, we will do a two single crochet. And then we will do a single crochet in the next single crochet in the middle here. And then we will do two single crochet in the next chain three space. And then we will chain three. And we are at our second chain two space. In the second chain two space, we will do two double crochet cluster, chain two, two double crochet cluster. Following that, we will chain three, and then we are at our next chain three space, we will do a single crochet, and then we will chain one, and we are back at our chain one spaces. So that's the pattern all the way around. After we do our single crochet chain one in this chain three space, we are at our chain one spaces. In each of the chain one spaces, we will do a two double crochet cluster, chain one. Once we finish our last one, we will do a single crochet in the next chain three space, and then we are at the top here. After that, we will chain three. In our first chain two space, we will do a two double crochet cluster, chain two, two double crochet cluster. Then we will chain three, and then we will do two single crochet in the next chain three space one single crochet in the next single crochet, two single crochet in the next chain three space, chain three, and then we are at our next chain two space. On this final chain two space, we'll do a two double crochet cluster, chain two, two double crochet cluster, all in that chain two space, and then we will chain three, do a single crochet in the next chain three space, chain one, and we're back at our chain one spaces. So that's the pattern all the way around. I will meet you at the end of this round. So here we are at the end of round 22. I finished my last two double crochet cluster in my chain two space as the beginning two double crochet cluster and to finish it off I would chain one and do a single crochet into the beginning two double crochet cluster to create my last chain two space. So here we are for round 23. For round 23 we will begin with a two double crochet cluster in the beginning chain two space that we just created. Now we will do a single crochet in the next chain three space, chain one, and then we have our final chain one space here. We will do a two double crochet cluster, chain one, now we will do a single crochet in the next chain three space, and then we are at the top here. After we do our single crochet, we will do a two double crochet cluster in the chain two space, chain two, two double crochet cluster. Now we will chain three, one, two, three, and we are at the center part here. In the next chain three space, we'll do two single crochet, and then we'll do one single crochet in each of the next five single crochet. One. And five. Now we'll do a two single crochet in the next chain three space. And then we will chain three. And we are at our next chain two space here. We will do two double crochet cluster, chain two, two double crochet cluster. And then we will do a single crochet in the next chain three space. Chain one. And we are back at our chain one space here. So that's the pattern. After we do our single crochet chain one in the chain three space, we are at our last chain one space. And here we will do a two double crochet cluster chain one, then we will single crochet in the next chain three space. 
After we do our single crochet, we're at the top here, we will do two double crochet cluster, chain two, two double crochet cluster, followed by chain three, and then we will do in the next chain three space, two single crochet. Now we have five single crochet here, we will do one single crochet in each of the five, and then we will do two single crochet in the next chain three space, followed by chain three. And then we are at our last chain two space. In this chain two space, we will do two double crochet cluster, chain two, two double crochet cluster, and then we will do a single crochet in the next chain three space, chain one, and we are back at our chain one space here. So that's the pattern all the way around. I will meet you at the end of this round. So here we are at the end of round 23. I finished my last two double crochet cluster in the beginning chain two space that we have our beginning two double click two double crochet cluster in. To finish off, I will connect it by chain one and do a single crochet into the beginning two double crochet cluster. And that creates our last chain two space. To begin round 24, we will start off with our beginning three double crochet cluster. For our beginning three double crochet cluster, we will chain two, yarn over, insert our hook into the chain two space that we just created, pull loop through, three loops unhook, yarn over, pull through two. Now we will yarn over, pull loop through, four loops unhook, yarn over, pull through two. Three loops unhook, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Now we will skip the next chain one spaces and we will work directly into the next chain two space. We will do a three double crochet cluster. So yarn over, insert your hook into this space, pull loop through, three loops unhook, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull loop through, four loops unhook, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull loop through, five loops unhook, yarn over, pull through two, four loops unhook, yarn over, pull through all four loops. Now we will chain five, one, two, three, four, five. We will do two single crochet in the next chain three space. And then we have nine single crochet here. We will do one single crochet in each of the nine. One, two, three, four, Six, seven, eight, and nine. And now we will do two single crochet in the next chain three space. One, two. We will chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And we are at our second chain two space. In there, we will do a three double crochet cluster. So yarn over, insert your hook, three loops unhook, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert your hook, four loops unhook, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull loop through, five loops unhook, yarn over, pull through two. Four loops unhook, yarn over, pull through all four loops. And now we're back here where we will skip this middle part and work directly into the second chain two space, another three double crochet cluster. So that's the pattern for round 24. After we do our first three double crochet cluster, we will skip all of this, work directly into the next chain two space, a three double crochet cluster. Then we will chain five, work two single crochet in the next chain three space. Then we have nine single crochet. We will do one single crochet in each of the nine. And then we will do two single crochet in the next chain three space, followed by chain five. And then we will do a three double crochet cluster in the final chain two space and then we were back here we will skip all this and work in the next chain two space a three double crochet cluster so that's the pattern all the way around i will meet you at the end of this round so here we are at the end of round 24 i did my chain five and to finish it off i'm going to slip stitch into the beginning three double crochet cluster like that so now for round 25 for round 25 we're going to begin with a slip stitch into this space in between the two three double crochet clusters, slip stitch into there, 
And now we're going to chain one and do a single crochet into the same space, like that. Now we will do five single crochet in the next chain five space. One, two, three, four, five, and then we will do one single crochet in each of the next 13 single crochet here. One single crochet in each of those. One, two, three, four, five, Thirteen, and then we will do five single crochet in the next chain five space. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we will do a single crochet into the space between the two three double crochet clusters at the top here. So that's the pattern all the way around for round 25. After we do our single crochet into this space at the top here between the two clusters, we will do five single crochet into the next chain five space, and then we'll do one single crochet into the next 13 single crochet, five single crochet into the next chain five space, and then we're back at the top here where we will do one single crochet in between the two clusters. So well, here we are at the end of round 25. To finish round 25, we will do a slip stitch into the beginning single crochet of the round. Like that. For round 26, we are going to begin with our next color. If you have two colors, if not, you would just continue with the pattern. So I'm going to cut my white yarn because I have two colors and I'm going to take my second color. I'm going to wrap it around my hook and pull it through. Then I will chain one. So if you have one color, you will chain one. And now I will single crochet into the same stitch. So just make sure that you, you're the same stitch as the one right on top of here, in the center there. If I have two colors, I will weave in my tails as well. So bring them over the hook and just carry them along with you. One single crochet. Now I will do one single crochet in the next five single crochet, bringing my tails with me if I have them. One. Two, and this is just to secure the tails. Three, four, and five. Now in the sixth one, I will do a single crochet, chain 10, and a single crochet. Now I will leave my tails aside and cut them because I no longer need them. And then that's the pattern. So we will do a single crochet in the next five single crochet. And in the sixth one, we'll do a single crochet, chain 10. and a single crochet in the same stitch. So that's the pattern all the way around. You know you're doing it correctly if you do your loop on the very top here where these clusters converge. That's how you know you're, you're counting it correctly and doing it correctly. So it's very similar to this. This part here. We will do one single crochet in the next five stitches in the sixth one, we will do one single crochet, chain 10, one single crochet, and then one single crochet in the next five stitches. In the sixth one, 
one single crochet, chain 10, one single crochet, all the way around. I will meet you at the end of this round. So here we are at the end of round 26. I have done my five single crochet and I'm here ready to connect it. So to connect, I will do a single crochet in the first single crochet. And then I will chain six, three, four, five, six. And then I will do a treble crochet in the same beginning first single crochet. So yarn over twice, insert my hook into the same stitch, pull a loop through, four loops on hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that creates our last chain 10 space. This is what your piece would look like. So here we are in round 27. To begin round 27, we will chain two and do four half double crochet into the same chain 10 space. So yarn over once, insert your hook into the space, pull loop through, three loops on hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops. One, two, three, four. Now we will skip the next three single crochet and single crochet in the next single crochet. So skip the next three, one, two, three, and in the fourth one do a single crochet. Now we will do 13 half double crochet in the next loop. So yarn over, insert your hook into the loop, pull it through, yarn over, pull through all three for a total of 13 times into this loop. Now we will skip the next three single crochet. One, two, three, and in the fourth one we will do a single crochet. And now we will do a 13, double, 13 half double crochet into the next loop. So that's the pattern for round 27. We will, after we do our single crochet, we will do a 13 half double crochet into the next loop. And then we will skip the next three single crochet, and in the fourth one we will do a single crochet and then we are back at our next loop. So that's the pattern all the way around. I will meet you at the end of this round. Okay, so here we are at the end of round 27. For the end of round 27, we will do eight half double crochet into the beginning loop. Following that, we will join in a slip with a slip stitch at the beginning of the chain two. So the second chain of chain two, we will join with a slip stitch.